What's up everybody, Cloudcord here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about comping inside Ableton Live 11, which is now in public beta, which is super duper exciting. Comping stands for composite, and it means we can stitch together multiple takes. Somebody like Taylor Swift, a verse of hers, might have up to 50 different takes down to like a syllable. You can do the same for guitar solos, the Beat It solo that Eddie Van Halen played that was famous for having a bunch of comps, which were all his hottest licks. So the cool thing is you can do this with audio, you can do it with MIDI, and you can also do it with video. So let me walk you through all three options today. Super excited, let's go. Okay, so check it out. I'm gonna do some audio comping with my guitar. I've got a two bar loop here that it's a beat that sounds like this. And then I have my guitar track here and you might see in the lower corner, I have some craziness here, but we'll have to wait for my video about macros to check that out. So let's do some audio comping. I'm gonna go through this loop several times and then we're gonna patch together the ultimate take. Here we go. So the first thing you may notice is it doesn't look any different than it used to. But we go over here onto our track and we right click and we show take lanes. And there we go. I can get rid of the fifth take because that was just the end of one of them. Okay, so now let me drag this out so you can see everything a little bit more clearly. To listen to any one of these take lanes, I can just simply click on the speaker icon, so check it out. It's a little clunky when you're doing it in real time, but you get the point, okay? So, uh, it's showing me our fourth take, which sounds like this. Okay, so let's take the beginning of take one, and I can just select any point on any take and hit the return key and it puts it up into the comps take. So now it sounds like this. And I can pull any of these out like you normally do. Pretty cool. So let me just kind of go through and see what it sounds like if I start mixing and matching. here with this one. That's pretty good. Together with the beat. Okay, so your main takeaways for audio recording, audio comping, is that you can record and then when you you're done recording in the loop, you can right click, show your take lanes, you can audition your take lanes with these speaker icons, and then whatever you have selected, if you hit return, it puts it up into the comped take. And all you have to do is simply hit the speaker icon to listen to these take lanes or unselect it to listen to your master comp. All right, so that is audio comping, super cool. So one thing I forgot to mention about audio comping, once you have those take lanes underneath, you can actually import other Waver, AIF, or MP3 files, any audio files, 
into those take lanes that weren't what you played. So think about the possibilities for sampling and that kind of stuff. Check this out, let me show you real quick. Okay, so check this out. We had our guitar, right? So this is our comp and these are our take lanes. I can start a new one from scratch. So Command T, Control T if you're on a PC, starts, opens up a new audio track, right? So watch this, I can right click and I can insert take lane. Cool. And then I can continue to do that over and over and over again. You see there's a hot key for that as well. So let me get a few of them. Awesome. Now I can drag in all of this Foley. If I hold down command, it puts them all into different tracks. And now let me warp all of them. So then I can also loop all these and drag them out. Awesome. So now I can go through and I can just kind of visually start making a comp based on like spaces and stuff like that. Cool. So I can even move things around like that. Let's see where we got a little space there. So how does this sound now? kind of interesting, right? What if I put this one up here too? So see, you can just literally drag stuff up from comps to. Okay. So now let me just throw an auto filter on there, cut some of the lows, give it a little bit of drive. And let's hear it with everything. <laughs> Not bad, right? Um, and then I'll do one more thing. I'll throw a compressor on that. And of course, we will side chain it to the kit. So I could also uh, select all of this shift tab and I could make variations with uh, transposition. try out different things like that. So that is audio comping via importing audio samples. Super cool. Okay, so now I'm going to do some MIDI comping and there's two ways we can do this. We can do it with MIDI overdub button on and with it off. Let's start with it off, okay? So I'm gonna turn this off here and I'm gonna use my push here. You can see in the lower left-hand corner and I'm gonna do a handful of takes for a bass line. Here we go. See how it's fresh MIDI every time? Awesome. Right click, show take lanes. Cool, so you can see how we have discrete takes there. Let me get rid of this last one. Same idea as the guitar where we can go through and select return and that can give us our comp take, right? So let me kind of go through here. I did like this bomb note at the end, but I think, actually it's right there, but I need it to start on time. So is it starting on time? Good thing I checked, so let me fold our notes. Let me start this over here. Let's hear how this sounds. Not bad, right? Okay, so that is where we're having discrete takes that where there's no uh, MIDI overdub. Let me get rid of all of that and now put MIDI overdub on. So what's gonna happen is in each take lane, it's gonna be cumulative. So check it out. See, so I can go hands free and now I'm just adding stuff to it. Awesome. 
awesome. So as you can see, it's kind of like the old way in MIDI where we have the MIDI overdub on and we just keep adding to it. So this is now a comped way that is comp from all of those performances without me having to do anything. I can actually go in and I can make changes if I want to simplify, for example, right here, it gets rid of a note. More space. If I didn't like this high note, I could just count from an earlier take before I did that. Awesome. And then last thing I want to do just because is grab a compressor and throw on our side chain to the kick drum because this is boom bap music. Cool. And the sound for that bass was an instance of wavetable with a little bit of EQ8, some auto filter, and some glue compression. All right. Okay, so we did audio comping and we did comping via audio sampling and then we did MIDI comping with the overdub on and off. Um, and now, last but not least, for my final stunt, we will do video comping. So over here on my desktop, I have a folder. Let me drag that out. Um, so if I bring this in, it instantly creates a new track, right? Now watch this. Uh, option Shift T will allow me to create take lanes, or you can also do the right click and insert take lane. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in these two other videos. And if we look, some of them are longer than what our loop is here, because it's a short loop. So I'm gonna bring in a handful of the same video from different places. And then I can do the same idea where I can go through and I can either move it around this way or I can hit return on different takes and see how things are going. Okay, so after a few minutes of comping between a handful of videos, here's what I came up with. That's the loop. And then I could, of course, select this and render it. Make sure create video is on. And let's call this live 11 video comp exclamation point to the desktop. Boom, there it is. Let's grab it and we'll pull it in and check it out. Video window, here it is. <laughs> So note that I do have this video, this new video track soloed. So we're listening to only the export. We aren't listening to anything else. Super cool. Comping audio, comping MIDI, comping video. See you next time. <laughs>